What's good, Tribe? It's your energy reader. I'm back with an energy reading for the month of October 2023. And let me tell you, the energy is very, very hot. As you see with the three cards here, there is something that is going to be happening in October that I can't really put my thumb on exactly. It feels like a major event that's going to be happening in October. So it just seems like the key word for October is balance really really maintaining balance because i'm feeling like there's going to be a lot of distractions a lot of distractions this is not the time to jump into anything too hastily i'm also feeling like now is the time to be very patient and, and allow things to happen in a steadily manner what is meant for you will literally land in your lap this is what i'm hearing for october also october is bringing us 10 10 a very significant date to close out cycles what i'm picking up is that you'll be closing out the cycle of the old version of you so there's going to be a very small group of us 44 people who are going to be meeting on 10 10 you guys can find that for level 11. level 11 is the highest level of mastery training when it comes to your gifts as a spiritual worker or your gifts as an enlightened being on this planet so if you feel like you're here to raise the frequency and you truly feel like you're called, level 11 could be for you, but otherwise it's only meant for 44 people. So if you guys are seeing this, you could be one of the 44. Everything is closing out and what we're seeing is a clear direction towards a leap of faith in the direction towards your dreams, towards your passions. So that just seems to be the theme for October. So if you guys are looking for higher level mentorship to connect with your gifts, to communicate with the universe or to communicate with a community or a tribe, you can meet me and a mentor of mine down below. You can find level 11. So if you guys are here, it's definitely not by coincidence. I'm energy. I am an energy reader. I'm going to be using many things to communicate with the universe to channel a message for the month of October. So I'm going to be using images, colors, sounds, smells, uh, memories, cards, oracle cards, tarot cards, whatever I can use in this moment of channeling a message directly for the purpose of connecting into it. Okay, so I have three cards here that you can choose from. Each card is going to be channeling a message directly from the universe and what you can expect for the month of October. All right, let's hop into the reading and see what you can expect for the month of October. Okay, card one, we have a moment's regret. Do not drink poison. Do not do things that are bad for you. So I'm definitely getting, there is some type of mindset change that is very necessary for you in the month of October. Yeah, I'm seeing the Ace of Swords already here. All right, so there is a mindset change that is necessary in the month of October so that you can see that everything is happening is because of what you're focusing your energy on, okay? What you're focusing your energy on. No more complaining, all right? I'm getting in October, there is a, there is a huge shift happening in October. So let's just see for card one, what's gonna be happening in October, 2023. We have five of wands already out on the board in reverse. We have the hermit. Let's get one more card. Thank you. And the ace of cups and the sun card in reverse. There are some things you're going to discover in October that maybe you're just not satisfied with. Maybe you're just not happy with. Maybe you're just not satisfied. And I'm seeing with the Page of Swords, there's a need for a whole new perspective here. All right, a whole new perspective here. When it comes to sudden changes in your life, I'm hearing sudden changes in the month of October. Why is the Sun card in reverse? Everything should be focused on joy is what I'm getting. And the 10 of pentacles here, everything should be focused on joy. You have a lot that you're looking forward to. Maybe you don't think it's happening exactly the way that you want it to happen is what I'm getting. We have the five of wands in reverse and the hermit in reverse. I'm also getting that the universe is provoking you or inspiring you to get to a place of solitude so that you can do some introspection, so you can find some time to yourself. All right, so the Page of Swords, what can you expect to happen in the month of October? You can expect to have a brand new perspective. You also, what I'm hearing is that your perspective will be admired. So you're meant to have a pioneer perspective. You're meant to go first in a lot of things. You're going to see this in the month of October. 
Five of Wands, I'm also seeing that you're, you are disassociating yourself with conflict, with drama. And I'm also seeing with the Five of Wands, distancing yourself. I'm seeing that there's a lot of decisions that are presenting themselves to you in the month of October. You have a fear of making the wrong decision. You cannot make the wrong decision if it's aligned with who you truly are, what you truly desire. And that means you have to go deeper, dig deeper in seeing what is it that you truly desire. All right, let's see what they can expect here. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords. So you're going to be overcoming a lot of adversity in the month of October. You are meant to go first, I'm hearing. You are meant to be a leader. Um, you may be trying to bring people along with you, all right? You have to allow people to see the light when they're ready to see it instead of dragging people along. If it's meant to be, it'll be easy. If it's meant to be, it'll be easy. If it's meant to be, it'll be easy. This is your mantra for the month of October. Card one, give me another card on what is it that they're going to be expecting for the month of October. Give me two more cards. Five of wands is here. Why is the five of wands is here? Yeah, many decisions. Look at this, a complex decision, the need to research, stop procrastinating. All right, card one. Even if you do it over and over and over again is what I'm hearing. Something, even if you write it over and over again, if you do it over and over again, the time that you're most aligned with your intuition and feeling the best is when it's going to come out the best. doesn't matter how many times you do it. It matters about how you feel when you're doing it, when you're completing it. So we also have a celebration, a wedding, a graduation, or a birth announcement, the need to have more fun. Um, the night of air is here, events that will occur at great speed. Is happening and then we also have the night and fire in the reverse in the upright so I'm definitely sensing that there could be some people some thoughts some disbeliefs some doubts some fears that you have about making decisions making decisions which way is the right way to go where do I go where do I start I'm seeing you're gonna be receiving a new perspective but you have to really be open is what I'm getting here open and isolated and in a place to receive all right if you're complaining you're not in a place to receive and I don't know why they're bringing this to me if you're stressed you're not in a place to receive if you're worried if you're concerned you're not in a place to receive and even if you are you will not see it you'll be so focused on what's not going right that you'll miss the opportunities that are going that are going right for you all right, we have a, a fairy card that snuck in here, so we'll get these two. These must be meant for you to hear. So we'll listen to those towards the end to see which fairies are gonna be surrounding you in the month of October. So I'm getting a lot of, of nurturing your feminine energy, honoring how you feel. It's very important how you feel because you can only stay in certain situations for so long before your feelings become overwhelming. Your feelings are communications, communication from your higher self. Your feelings are communication from your higher self. So we have also creative solutions. I'm also seeing that this isn't something you have to figure out. So when it comes to your decisions, when it comes to just the choices, the right path will align perfectly, but you're not to figure out how that right path lines out. I mean, it's so miraculous how this path is unfolding. I don't believe that you see it quite yet, and that's why the sun is in reverse. You're not really seeing in October how things are going to be in your favor is what I'm hearing. But I am sensing it will fall in your favor with the Ten of Pentacles here. So there's a sense of honoring your feelings you, if there's a fear of regret or making decisions or being afraid that you'll make the wrong decision, then this isn't a place to make a decision. You should feel very good and very excited about the decision you make. This is how you know it's aligned with the right path for you. The right path will unfold. It's already created for you. There's nothing for you to figure out or do. That is the truth here. That is the highest truth. But we have the five of wands in reverse. There's there is more harmony that is coming in your life. 
and it's requiring you to cut out what is not bringing you harmony, what is not making you feel good. So let's see, what is the universe trying to communicate to card one in the month of October 2023? Your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment. So how do you know which way to go? Your desires. Your desires are clues. Your dream is the overall bigger picture that even we cannot even see. You are opening up your perspective immensely to hoping that things go right, being comfortable with things going right, being comfortable with things actually working out, not focusing on what isn't working out. If you're complaining, if you're, it's your ego complaining, only our ego complains. If yourself, your ego is complaining, then there is a need for adjustment to align these decisions. Some of you feel like maybe you're stuck in certain situations. It could be job. It could be a relationship. It could be a situation that you feel like you're stuck in. I'm hearing you're not stuck and you're being led out of the situation and you're being led by your desires. Your desires are kind of like the carrots. Go to going towards these desires. Once again, survival is not your desire. To be alive and to live is your desire. Survival is already, survival is already guaranteed. And when you have this feeling and the sense of comfort that survival is already guaranteed, that your needs are already met and everything is working out, the, pur the, the purpose of that is so that you can feel the energy of what that feels like. Right. That's the whole point of all of this is to bring relief, to bring relief, whether it's financial relief um, so you can have more freedom, whether it's relief from drama, low frequency energy or people. So I'm definitely sensing there are a lot of decisions and these are emotional. This has to be made not from a strategic point of view. So in October, these decisions that are being presented to you are to align with your passion, all right? A sudden event, once again, a sudden event out of nowhere is going to happen in the month of October for you if you are here. What can you tell them about this event? Thank you. You're not meant for everyone, there you go, okay? So you're asking, you're desiring, let's see. Unconditional love, compassion, freedom, wealth with the 10 of pentacles. The sun card in reverse because of the 10 of pentacles, not really feeling like you're aligned completely with this uh, wealthy version of yourself, but you must get comfortable to receive wealth. You must get comfortable thinking like a wealthy person. A wealthy person is not stressed about bills, is not stressed about how they're going to make certain things happen. They're not stressed about paying off things, paying off mortgages. They're not stressed about finances. They're not stressed about money. They're not stressed about their health is what I'm getting. So you're getting comfortable with this frequency that you're asking for. October is getting you comfortable planting the seeds that you're going to harvest in, the, in 2024 is what I'm getting. Huge, huge messages when it comes to 2024. So you're not meant for everyone, healer. So you will be attracting a lot of energy, a lot of energy in October, a lot of people in your frequency. And it's, it's up to you, and I'm sensing you are safe, you are protected, you are a healer. Therefore, you are safe and protected with your gifts. So when I say protection, this is not protection from you protecting yourself. You should actually let go of that job. You should really let go of that job because it is, it is a pretty big job to, to play. And I don't know if you've seen, but many people pass away from the most dumbest things. Lettuce, E. coli, the most dumbest things. Pneumonia, simply not taking care of themselves, their body. So health can be a very big factor that you're concentrating on in the month of October. You could be being asked to focus on that. So paying attention to how you feel. Once again, this is an emotional thing. So you're getting out of your masculine energy and totally into your feminine, which is being more compassionate with yourself, therefore attracting compassionate people. So you're not meant for everyone. You wanna be compassionate, you wanna be kind, you wanna be in joy, you wanna share with the right people. So you can't change yourself 
to accommodate those around you because then you're compromising. But what you can change is your environment. So when I say you cannot change yourself, I mean you cannot not choose to be your authentic self because of people around you is what I'm getting. So that's why you're not meant for everyone. The people that you're around, you should feel energized. You, sh you should feel inspired. You should feel love. You should feel, let's see, what is it that you are actually manifesting? Why is this happening in October? What is it that they're manifesting? Thank you. We have celebration at the bottom. Hope, staying positive, celebration, healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Stay true to your path as a healer. But it's very important for you to be healed 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 meaning you've accepted you've accepted what has happened in the past and now you are open to a new start and a fresh new beginning you are not meant for everyone so I'm sensing that what spirit is saying is that you are looking for the light you're looking for something optimistic and I'm getting that universe is saying in the month of October be positive because if you just focus on what is not going right you are just gonna simply keep attracting that. You'll be surprised. It is, like, it is like a ball that you cannot stop. Once it starts going, that bad feeling, meaning if you wake up, you step on a tap, you check your email, you get a bad email. Like it's, it just keeps going. And to, to try to pull that energy back takes a lot of mastery. That's why you don't wanna get into that energy in the first place. But things happen, and what I'm sensing in October is balance. Things are going to happen, but you are at a level. If you're here, you are at a level, and, and you're still working towards this. Okay, let's just see why that's here. You should be at a level now where these things really don't affect you. And I'm seeing that in the month of October, you're going to see how far you've come in your spiritual growth because you're gonna see how easier it is for you to choose yourself and, and choose the ones that are aligned with this version of you, this authentic version of you, yourself, choosing yourself. This does not make me happy. This does not make me feel good. I don't need to know why it doesn't make me feel good. I just know that it doesn't make me feel good. Therefore, I'm gonna take a step back until it does feel good or it does align. So we have four of swords, rest. So take a step back in October or you're going to find yourself redoing a lot of the work you did just because you wanted to be productive or get it done. You will find yourself redoing it again. And I'm laughing because it, this is how the universe works. We can be so determined. That's why it's not about your determination. Sometimes your determination is working against you because you could be so determined to do something and that something is hard to do because it's not a line. It doesn't matter how determined you are. Now, if you're inspired, you will automatically be determined and it will naturally play out for your benefit. But you can be determined and do something and just because it's productive, but you didn't feel the best and you didn't give it your all, you can feel it. You know when you're giving it your all because you're excited to do it, you're inspired to do it, you, you can't sleep at night because you're ready to wake up the next day to do it. That is gonna be the perfect energy where you're gonna manifest success and the impossible. You're gonna manifest a high vibrational energy. But if you're just doing it to do it, to be productive, to just get it done, that's all you're doing is just getting it done. And that's not really bringing you the reciprocation of fulfillment. You're desiring fulfillment, to feel fulfilled. What is this all for? October is going to really make you question it. And that's why I get four of swords pondering. Take some time. All right, spirit, what are you trying to tell them in the month of October? So higher self is saying, have hope. You are wealthier than you think at the bottom of the deck. You are wealthier than you think. You are adventurous. You are passionate. You, your true self, self-assured. Also, check out that video, thetarotchest.com. Who am I meant to be in this lifetime? I just released that. I think that this could be connected to you. I, could, I see that you could be a star. You could be overlooking your light here. And so you will be more self-assured once you have an understanding of who you are and you're more comfortable being this version of you. So choosing and making your decisions from a place of what feels good, don't jump into anything hastily. Some, there's going to be a lot of opportunities as far as options. 
but understand the perfect opportunity that's for you and meant for you will be easy flowing naturally. It'll be so easy that it worked out simultaneously with everything that had to be aligned. Even if there's paperwork involved, you would be excited to do it. I'm telling you, your excitement and your inspiration will drive you all the way there. But if you have to stay determined, stay motivated, it's like you have to force yourself even in that energy. But if you're naturally inspired, it will naturally flow. So your joy is actually more important than you think it is. Your emotions, October is showing you, hey, even if you are financially stable, even if you do have a career, even if you just got into a new job, what you're seeing is even if you're stable, even if you're financially fulfilled, financially, you can still not be happy. It's a thing. It's a thing where people have a lot of money. They have their dream house. They have their dream body. They have their dream partner. And they're still not happy. You don't want to be this person. Start with what feels fulfilling and then allow your life to mold around it because then it will always be aligned with your true self and your, your dreams and your desires. And you know it's aligned from the universe because it literally works out. They're showing me like a pinball. It just bing, 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 bing. You didn't have to do anything. You just pulled it. You just pulled the trigger one time and everything lines up. That's how you know it's the best choice. So if you have options presenting itself around you, the option to take a step back from, from people, here's your confirmation. You're not meant for everybody. You're not meant for everybody. So have hope and understand that what you're seeing in your reality is your old life that's attached to the old version of you that is closing out. It's just remnants of proof of the old version of you. And now you're getting ready to see the new version. So you have to really change your mindset is what I'm getting. What fairies are surrounding you in October? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You guys got hope twice. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic, optimistic. You know, even when people book readings, do you know all you have to do is show up in a good energy? It could be very challenging to channel messages when people are, are complaining or they're in a low frequency, nothing's not working, this and this and that. Well, this is the story that you keep telling. This is the story and, that you keep telling and the power, you're giving your power away by choosing to believe in this storyline. Choose a different story. You're being presented a new story. How do you want your life to look like? Maybe in high school, you didn't have a lot of friends. Maybe people, you know, you didn't connect very well with people. They didn't understand you. Well, what would it look like if they did? So the challenge is expanding your mind and it requires hope for you to do that. It, hope is just simply a grasp of the light. Just have a piece of light. Hope is like a crumb of light, a crumb of faith. They say the, the seed, the mustard seed, the faith of a mustard seed can move mountains. That's what they say in scripture. So it's like one little spark of faith could move a mountain. So if you can just pull yourself out of what's not going right, because you could be flying so high, things are going so great. And then one little thing happens and then it just catapults you. That's where you have to just grab onto the hope. The hope meaning optimistic light, this will shift having a higher perspective. Precious time, the fairy of light wants you to experience every moment fully and make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others either. So as you are setting people free, whatever decision you have to make, you are also bring, you know, fulfilling the moment, taking, taking time in the moment and what matters is right now. What matters is right now. Because even where you are now is what you manifested back then and now you're here. And you still might be like, okay, I'm not exactly where I want to be, blah, 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 blah. You're wealthier than you think. So I'm also seeing you're being asked to expand your consciousness in how you think. Wealthy, you have to think it, right? You want this. People want to attract this lifestyle. It's so interesting. But can you get comfortable with being abundant and wealthy? The wealthy version of you would not skip out on a tip. Just wouldn't do it. The wealthy version of you would probably tip three times more. So you have to get comfortable being the wealthy version of you. And that's why I say we're not being patient with the universe. We're being patient with ourselves to be different, to be new, to not think from a place of lack. So you could be thinking of a lot of things when it comes to wealth, just getting into different things.
in the month of October. So um, just thinking about investments where you can be free, because it's not, you know, I'm just sensing having time to play, having time to have fun. That's why you're here is to explore. So if all you're doing is working, it's defeating the purpose. So we have listen deeply. So I'm sensing that your angel guides, this is an angel message for the month of October and what you can expect, your angels are saying, listen deeply, listen deeply, listening not with your ears, listening with your intuition, with your awareness. And I see that you're gonna be receiving communication from your guides very heavily. We even have 1010 on the clock. So 1010 could be very important. You could definitely be an earth angel. You don't have to be, but you can definitely resonate with just compassion, love, wanting to raise the frequency on the planet, wanting to make a, a, the world a better place, wanting to even help your family and friends close to you. This is a sign that once you find the light, once you find the truth, the first thing you want to do is share it. This is how you know you're a light worker. You're an earth angel. So definitely check out level 11 down below because we'll be meeting 1010. So I don't think that's by coincidence. I think you desire to meet your true community, people who resonate with you, where you don't have to hide, where you could be your authentic self. And you can definitely find that in level 11. So if you guys resonated with this deck, you are going to be asked to listen before you make any decision so that you don't have to worry about regret. You shouldn't fear regret because you should know that you're always being guided by something higher. Trust that you are being guided on this journey is the message I'm hearing from, from the universe. So allow this guidance to guide you through the nonsense of October to lead you right to, back to joy. Everything should be filtered and centered through joy. Joy, joy, joy is what I'm hearing, card one. Joy, joy is important. Joy should be prioritized. When you're in joy, every, everything else works out perfectly when you're in joy, when you're enjoying, all right? So if you guys are here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, check out stuff down below. Moving on to card number two. Card two, what can you expect for the month of October 2023? Let's look and find out. All right. First, we're going to look at the overall energy for your month of October. If you guys were drawn to the second card, I'm getting the word courage. Having the courage to be you, having the courage to take a leap of faith having the courage to see through the nonsense having courage is important for october 2023 let's see what the overall theme is for october 2023 overall theme thank you very much <laughs> messages for a rabbit oh my goodness this is so funny wow wake up oh my goodness so I don't know if you guys seen the matrix, but uh, could be very important for you. The matrix, the first one and the newest one, which is the remake of the first one. So we have wake up. It's your moment. Messages for a rabbit. Messages in service, service to the animal world. So I'm getting right away, if you guys were drawn to card number two, that you are going to be receiving a lot of intuition downloads a lot of downloads in the month of October. Your intuition is very heightened in October. I'm getting high priestess energy. Now the message for the rabbit, it's interesting because the rabbit is actually what leads Neo and many people out of the matrix. So basically I'm sensing that there is a little, this is why I love the universe. The universe is sending literal fairies that you cannot see, these are guides. You might, you might feel the presence of someone being connected because you can see it in their eyes. They're here to help you. They wanna be a part of your vision, all right? I'm also getting a lot of distractions. So many distractions in October, literally. So many distractions. But what's important is not allowing yourself to be pulled away from what feels good and, and concentrating and focusing on what feels good because the distractions will come but as long as you don't give your energy to them, then you have nothing to worry about. So as distractions come, you will learn in your spiritual level of mastery that things become less distracting. What's distracting for some may not be distracting for you, and that's because you are on a different level. So I'm on a new level is what I'm getting for number two. In October, you're gonna be seeing that you have leveled up 
especially energetically and spiritually. I'm also seeing that if you are in a situation where you no longer want to be, because Neo was also in a cubicle, as was I a few years ago, and the universe will literally send a rabbit. And you'll see in the movie, the rabbit sometimes on people's backpacks, sometimes it's on someone else's hair. These are all messages from the universe literally guiding you to your dream and your desires. So this isn't just about fortune telling anymore, tarot. This is about, hey, you can actually connect with the most high intelligence, we have courage here, most high intelligence, and get a response. Your response, we have wake up, is, could come through animals. You can see certain birds, look them up, and you're gonna see it's aligned with exactly where you need to be. This is why we can't use intellect to understand the universe. It is way too complicated, way too complex. We also have the magician here. So really, really seeing yourself as the magician because you are actually the one manifesting this. There's a reason why you were drawn to card two out of all three, and that is because I'm seeing that you are more awakened than the average person. So it is your moment to shine, and I believe that spirit is guiding you as well. Also, we have fear as an illusion set strong boundaries. So that there you go with the distractions. Boundaries are just necessary. Simply, it's not even a boundary. It becomes a boundary to those people. To you, it's just simple awareness and making choices that align with you. Others will perceive it as a boundary. For you, it's just simply aligning with what feels good. So let's not complicate spirituality here. It's meant to be fun. You're waking up to who you truly are in the month of October. Let's see what they can expect to happen in October. Three cards. Thank you. All right, so we have Page of Fire, news of an exciting new adventure. Uh, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and authenticity. So what I'm getting is you are embodying the energy of a page of fire. So this means that if you are still in a cubicle or you are still in a situation in your workplace where you no longer desire to be, there is going to be a spark of inspiration that is coming your way. Um, it's coming through your imagination. You will be channeling this through your imagination. This spark is meant to bring you confidence, and it's also meant to bring you a creative solution. So I'm sensing there is an answer to something that you can align with that, that brings you a lot of excitement that is also bringing you stability, okay? Because we have the three of earth. We also have a relationship that continues to grow closer or forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. You can also have a soulmate return, an old friend, an old situationship, or someone in your energy field returning to grow closer to you. There's an, a sense of need of forgiving. Um, and because I think that you're going, yeah, you're going to have a lot of success and victory that's coming in. So we have a lot of good news that's coming in for the month of October. It's almost like you're on fire is what I'm hearing. So you're attracting a lot of old energy coming in because you're actually aligned in the vibration to receive it. And, you're, and this could be a person also. I'm also hearing for some of you, this person could have walked away from someone and is actually moving towards you. So this could be a new soulmate that you're meeting. This could be someone that you know or someone around you coming back in. Um, I'm also seeing that whoever this is, you're, so, you're going to be meeting a lot of soulmates is what I'm getting. Soulmate or soulmates could be platonic, could be romantic in the month of October. I'm seeing that you're making room for new friendships, new unions, and there is something very exciting about being around these people. You're, you're very creative, you're very inspired, and it's easy to channel messages. It's easy to channel messages. What does that mean? That means being able to see without your physical eyes, being able to, to really imagine and visualize yourself doing certain things and actually having victory from it public recognition or reward. So you could be receiving a little bit more public recognition. More people could be noticing you in the month of October is what I'm seeing. I'm, you have a lot of courage. You have a lot of bravery here. I, I see that people are acknowledging you for your bravery. You also have you are safe and you are protected. October. So yeah, you're definitely going through a rebirth. I'm seeing that you could be actually closing out a, a huge cycle of an old version of yourself in the month of October. We have the page of air again. So we have this in the first deck, logical, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, 
truth delivered without tact. So yeah, if something is delivered to you, um, I'm getting once again with the page of air, not to be impulsive. In the month of October, the overall energy for every card was simply only do it if it aligns and feels good. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself going over it again. And there's no point of doing it if you have to do it. Go over it two or three times. So I'm sensing it's not about being productive. It's not about any of those human things that we think we want. It is about things being successful, right? You want everything you do to be a success. And in order for that to happen, you must feel good as you're creating it, as you're sharing it, as you're doing it. And as you feel the success from it, it will actually determine how you create because you will be in the energy of success. So setting intentions with your, your projects, your creative projects, set intentions, feel what you desire to do. With this reading, I desire to reach people for the month of October, give them guidance and let them know, hey, the universe is communicating with you. You might run into some delays. You might run into some challenging information that becomes a distraction. Maybe something that you wanted to work out your way, but it's gonna be delivered a different way is what I'm hearing. So anything that seems like it's not happening, it's because there's a better timing. It's always in your best interest. This is part of accepting unconditional love. It's always in your best interest. The universe does things always in your best interest. High priestess, you are in a very innate time. You are in a very, very influential time in October. Channel messages are gonna be coming in, flowing in like water. Listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. Now is not the time to make impulsive decisions. Now is the time to use your discernment, use your intuition, and really hone into what feels good. Then you will see decisions will come to you very quickly. Once you take time with yourself, close your eyes, connect with yourself is what I'm getting. It's interesting to wake up, you have to close your eyes. Waking up your your spiritual self, getting out of the physical world. Understand the physical world is just a reflection of your internal world. So whether you're new here, welcome, welcome to enlightenment. Your reality is just a reflection of your internal world and how you feel. So it's important that you feel good so that your reality can reflect that. We also have the king of fire. So you're in a lot of creative energy. So you're going through a rebirth. I'm also getting the Empress is gonna be very important. So a lot of confidence is coming to you in the month of October. You are in a lot of sacral chakra energy, lots of orange. So there's, there's no coincidence you were drawn to this card. You may have been drawn to card one as well, but with card two, this is a lot of fire. We have all of this red. Card one was more so about options and decisions that you're gonna be making emotionally. In this sense, you're gonna be following your passion, what lights you up. This is actually leading you to public. I'm hearing whatever project you're working on, whatever sparks your interest, if it hasn't already in the month of October, this is gonna bring you public recognition very soon. And it's also gonna be bringing you rewards. So it feels good because it's meant to be successful. That's why it feels so good. It's meant to be successful. And I'm hearing it will be successful and people are gonna acknowledge you for your work, which is why courage and bravery is something that you really, really have to embrace for this next version of you. It actually comes with this version of you. Once you choose this new version of you, it already comes with it. You're choosing the version that is already courageous, that is already brave, that is already abundant, that is already in love, that is already successful. So once you shift into that version of you, then you will receive everything that comes with this version of you, which is courage. Otherwise, it's your old self trying to be courageous to be your new self, and it just, and that is not aligned with success because your old version has old beliefs, old modalities, old paradigms. And that, those old beliefs keep you in a low frequency vibration. And if, if, if it makes you feel bad, if it brings you shame, if it brings you guilt, this is not of the universe. Which is why even in religion, so something might come up even in religion in October. If it doesn't make you feel good, it's not God. Sorry. But this brings me a lot of shame. I shouldn't be ashamed to be myself. That, that, that only breeds self-hate, self-sabotage. So there's, I'm sensing 
you may have wanted to go and think about why do I do this? Why do I think this way? And why did this happen? And the truth is, is that there's no need to explore the past. Get excited about the present. What is arriving now in your reality? And that's why we have wake up here. It's your moment. Right now is the time. So if you're waiting, it's, it's, it's like it's a feeling of when you feel ready. It's not a time. It's a feeling is what I'm getting. So the high priestess, you're going to be receiving a lot of channel messages, maybe titles, titles to creations that you have, everything that you're trying. So once again, if we're forcing it, that's us trying to figure it out. And it's we don't want to figure it out. That's the thing. We want to channel what the truth is, what is destined for you. OK, we have abundance coming through here. So let's just see what fairies are surrounding you in the month. We have this card peeking through growth. We have seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So yes, if you guys were drawn to card two, definitely check out level 11 down below if you guys want to be a part of the mentorship that I have every month or if you want to check out readings on the tarotchest.com. I'm just sensing that you've come a long way with the growth and seeking out a mentor or a guide may be a next step for you, for you to feel good, for you to stay aligned, feeling good you may be attracting a mentor or someone into your space. Let's see what fairy is, is surrounding you in October. Pure intention. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling like you have a lot of pure intention and that's why you're gonna be attracting a lot of people with pure intentions that, that actually don't want anything from you, but just have an intent to connect with you. So it says, help you use your wishes wisely, manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. It's crazy because that's what I was saying. What is your intention? Before you create it, when you see yourself sharing it, how does it feel? Whatever it is that you're creating, you know, when you're dressing yourself up, you're creating. You're, you're always creating, card two, you're always creating. So abundance, again, peeking through. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. This is crazy. This is what I was just saying. Prepare yourself from incoming abundance. This is what I was saying in card one. You must get comfortable. It says any mental blocks that you may have in fairyland and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. So there's enough for everyone. Scarcity, inflation, do not give in to these energies. If it doesn't feel good, it's not God. This should help you sever what doesn't feel good. But once again, that may sound easier than it actually is. Some of you may have certain people that don't feel good anymore and it's time so you can attract people with pure intention. So as we're here, let's go ahead and see what does the universe want you to know? Okay, getting comfortable with being abundant. If you're abundant, it's, it just, it's funny to me that people do the words of affirmation. That's why they don't work. You can say, I'm abundant, I'm abundant, I'm abundant every day of your life. But the truth is, is that you must feel it. And that's why, even with card one, you definitely could have been drawn to card one. You have to honor how you feel over your logic. You have to honor how you feel over being right. You have to honor how you feel. Literally, how you feel is the guide and the compass to everything. So your intuition is a feeling, high priest. So you are in a very, very high level of spiritual connection in October. You're gonna see what it feels like to channel very effortlessly and easily. We have more distractions coming through. Let's see, higher self, what do you want them to know? We have what you believe becomes real. So what you choose to believe becomes real. So do not focus on what appears to not be going right because then you will continue to attract or see that. You will continue to see that until you feel, okay, it's not going right. Once you feel that way, then it's really challenging to turn that day around. So what you believe becomes real and what you know is true. So whatever you believe is what you're giving power to. So choose to believe in what you want to become real. Choose to believe in what you want to come to life. You have that power. So that's the challenge of expansion, choosing the good things you want to happen. Just release it. All right, what are they releasing? Lots of decisions. Your purpose is to simply exist. 
and higher self wants you to know that your life experience will be the blueprint to empower others. You're meant to empower others through your creations. You may have a spark of inspiration in the month of October. Anything that's bringing you not feeling good feelings could be a partner, could be a friend, could be a family member, could be a coworker. Something that was said, it does not matter. Just release it because it does not, it doesn't resonate with you. You shouldn't be holding on to anything that doesn't resonate with you because it doesn't feel good. And that's how you know it doesn't come from God. So instead of relying on tarot readers and um, your astrology and everything else, I'm telling you that it all connects with one thing, feeling good, your vibration, your thoughts, your beliefs, your emotions, they all make up how you feel, your vibration. It's such a delicate frequency that anything getting, getting left on red, getting left on scene, <laughs> I'm hearing, okay? Anything, you could be feeling so good and one little thing like, dang, that sucks. I thought it was gonna, you have to just let those things go and allow what's going to align to happen. Because once again, if it's meant for you, it'll literally land in your lap. And this is where the ease comes in. So you can say, okay, well, I'm meant for victory. I'm meant for success. I'm going to follow the messages from the universe and seeing where I'm being guided. Okay. And in the sense, raising your vibration, feeling good, no matter what, which is actually a gift because bad things can happen, bad things. And for some people who are not as connected could feel really bad, but there's power in when bad things happen and you can still feel good. You can find the light in anything. That is power. Okay, what do your angel guides want you to know for the month of October? Trust the universe. You are clearing, you are making room for the new. You are clearing out the old version of you and welcoming in this new version of you. This new version is authentic. This new version is awake, is aware, has courage, has bravery, is in love, is successful, is abundant, trusts the universe, is compassionate. Let's see what else you are attracting, blessing. Because you're attracting blessings because you're clearing, you're canceling, and you're releasing. So let's just see what blessings are you attracting. We have leadership and celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. So yes, it is time for you to celebrate your success and have fun. Speak up, share your message, inspire, and empower others. If you are here, King of Wands, you are a leader. You are meant to empower others. So therefore, you will go first in a lot of things. You may find yourself going first. So trust in the universe. The universe is guiding you. Trust in the universe's plan. And I'm going to... I'm seeing that in October, you are receiving a lot of downloads and everything that you're going through, your life experience is actually going to be the blueprint that you share with others. Well, I just followed my intuition and da, 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 da. you'll be saying what I said. And they're going to be like, well, how do you do that? How do you follow your intuition? How do you choose the new version of you? How, 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 how? And then hopefully you will create something and share it with them, whether it's a book, whether it's an audio book, whether it's writing, whether it's talking, whether it's playing, whether it's a party, whether it's sewing, whatever you enjoy is the perfect path for you. Comparison to others is non-existent. Never compare yourself. Literally, I'm hearing, never compare yourself. There's no one like you. You are a leader. You are different. You must see this within yourself. So this is what I'm getting for you for the month of October. So if you guys chose this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe. You know the drill. Look down below if you want to book a reading, anything I have going on. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to card three. Card three, let's see. What is the overall message of what you can expect for the month of October 2023? Card three. If they were drawn to card three, what is? Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan. The right direction. Once you know where you desire to go, then the plan will arrive. The truth is, is that you already been where you're desiring to go. So how do you know is based on your desires? What feels good are clues and indicators that you are closer than you think, all right? So let's just see what else is the overall theme. 
mortality. Life is brief, bright, and beautiful, and yours is to live. Okay, so this is a reminder from your higher self that you are here to live and things will end and we all have an expiration date. So now is the time that you should be living. You should not be waiting to live. So let's just see what's happening in October that is creating this energy already. We have a lot of powerful shifts happening in October when it comes to transformational shifts of identity, of passions, pleasure. Let's get three cards. One, seven of air, plans that need revision. Eight of water, walking away, five of earth. Okay, so out of all three cards, I'm getting that the universe is really communicating with you, card number three, that there is an easier way not to give up, protect that which is yours that you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So you could have been drawn to card number two as well. So if you guys were drawn to this card, you are walking away from some things, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, uh, spiritual and emotional growth. It is time for you to choose a different path to, to set your course. So I'm sensing in October there will be a crossroads. This crossroads you have come, come to many times. This is not the first time is what I'm hearing. This crossroads on making a decision on where it is that you want to go. Let's just see what that is. Okay, we have justice here too. Something working out in your favor. Justice, the court system, justice, law, paperwork, anything I'm sensing working in your favor. If it doesn't seem like it's working in your favor, it actually is working in your favor and it's time to move on if it doesn't align. So if something is not aligning in your favor in the month of October, you are aligning and you are releasing it. We also have fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So I'm definitely seeing that this feels, look at this, we have almost every single card here except for a major arcana. So let, and I, and I wanna get that before I just close into this. We have every single minor arcana. You have something going on in each arcana of your life. Mentally, you're going to be having to revisit some plans here. What is the best choice is going to be the choice that aligns with what feels good. So you can never, you can never choose the wrong decision. You can never, um, what is this? You can never trick yourself. Delusional, whatever this, this whole thing about being delusional. All right, that's because your ego's delusional. It doesn't believe it but your soul knows it and that's what you have to trust only the ego could be delusional because it has such a hard time believing in good things to happen for you that tr which is the truth that now we have created a word called delusional which just keeps us from the truth so what i'm sensing is if something doesn't seem to be working out and it's your plan because it's only our plans that don't work out if it's it's still working out in your favor. That's how much you're loved by the universe. So you can't make a wrong decision. Every decision leads to the right path. Every decision. All right, so that's something that I'm hearing too. Even if you get to the end of something and you find that it's a dead end, you will just simply turn around and get right back on the path. So we have that there is an emotional decision to, to leave something that is not bringing you emotional or spiritual fulfillment and growth. So your soul is desiring to be nourished. And what happens is sometimes that comes from a feeling of a void, feeling like there's a void. And that usually means that your soul is desiring to be nourished, to do, have fun, to play. So I'm, I'm seeing that there's a whole new perspective. It's interesting out of all three cards. This is the card that's purple. A lot of third eye awakening. Seeing from a different perspective is very required in the month of October, especially with your finances. We have don't give up, protect that as all of which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So let's just see, you are moving on. Things are looking up the end of a difficult situation. So spirit is saying you are moving on and the difficult situation is over. Two, two, now it's ch time to choose you and choose where you wish to go. Not what you think you can ma manifest. See, this is the thing. We think we're manifesting now. So it's like it, there's a lot of misinterpretation about spirituality. You are already manifesting. You're always manifesting. 
The goal is to receive and align with the highest timeline of your desire. But the problem is if you feel like you have to do it, you have to make it happen, this actually resists it. We have no major arcana. We have no spirituality on the board. So you're just out here confused, not knowing who to trust with the seven of air, possibly not really revealing who you truly are. Sometimes the seven of swords has a mask. Feeling like it's time to move on from something, but you don't even know where to go. You, don't, you may not even know where to look. Search for something more meaningful. Where, do I, where would I find this feeling that I'm desiring? Where will I find this feeling is really what I'm, that's what the universe is saying you should be saying in October. The feeling that you're desiring, and let's get into that because we have so many messages here for you. I have three decks I, I grabbed all at once. What is it that card three is desiring? Because even here, the universe is like, where do you go? want to go? What are you desiring? Compassion, love. So in order for you to receive this, you must start inviting this frequency into your life. And it starts with you being compassionate with yourself, honoring yourself and how you feel, how you feel when it comes to your mentality, emotionally, also with money. And then the nine of fire is my wounded warrior card. So there's a lot of, it, of energy in October that is actually just simply redirecting you back to spirit. So even if you're feeling really good going into October, what I'm sensing is things are still looking up from here, but I'm feeling like there is going to be something that you need to walk away from that is not bringing you fulfillment, basically, is what I'm getting. And let's just see what is that. Eight of water. Why is the eight of water here? Because you're manifesting compassion. So you're desiring compassion. So therefore, anything that's not aligned with it will be up for discussion on whether or not it can stay is that what I'm hearing. Seeds well planted, a temporary standstill, unnecessary worry. So spirit is saying, hey, in October, you may come to an, a temporary standstill. It's a pause in action. This is actually good for you because it's letting you know that you don't want to have to depend on whatever you've been depending on for financial profit or financial gain. So this pause, and it's like I'm seeing the, the hose, a water hose, and the water's flowing, but you know when you get a kink in it, it, it kind of comes slower. Well, that's what's happening in your finances. The kink is some of your beliefs around what you, you, how you feel about money. Remember, how you feel is very important. It's the most important thing. So you're, you're coming to some type of conclusion in October, something's gonna happen that wakes you up to realizing that life is short. Like, I can't, I can't keep doing this because literally I'm going to pass and what do I have to look back on? Th this, is a, this is some deep revelation and still we have no major arcana. Six of air, things are looking up. So that's confirmation again. Things are looking up from a difficult situation, taking a trip. So some of you might even have the inspiration to take a trip or desire to take a trip. I'm seeing that spirit is definitely trying to bring this in. Spirit is also trying to bring in a new person that enters your life, um, relationship, choosing you. So once in your love life, you choosing you is a good decision. This is actually leading you towards the path of a life partner that aligns with you, whether you're with them now or not. So I'm getting a new person enters your life, a relationship begins heightened psychic abilities. So this was also what I was getting with card two. You guys could be coming from card two. Card two, heightened psychic abilities. So whatever it is that's going on, this seems to be the shadow side of October. You are going very deep into the shadows of October. And I'm feeling like this is because some of the things that maybe you didn't see or maybe were avoided during the beginning of the year are coming back up for an opportunity to just release them in October, to just simply release them. Um, your, your finances are looking good. I see with the seven of, of earth right now, you cannot see, you cannot see, right? You've planted a seed, but you're not seeing anything grow from it. So you're assuming nothing is growing. That is not true. I'm sensing that it's taking time, whatever you've grown. Let's see what this is. Yeah. So you've been waiting for something to come in here. But I'm definitely sensing if you focus on what the empty cups are, you will miss the cup of opportunity that's coming your way. It's very important, card three, for you to keep your vibration in a high frequency, especially with the purple. 
it's a reminder to stay and see from a higher perspective, not to see right in, what's right in front of you, but to be able to see from a higher perspective. All right. Even with the judgment card here, there is a lot of there are some decisions that are going to have to be made in the month of October. And you already know this and it's judgment time. So it's time to really choose you with the page of wands. Choose something exciting. Even though you may not know where it leads you, you may be sparked with some type of inspiration. You're worried about finances coming in here with the Knight of Pentacles. So let's just see what is the what is the message from spirit. Higher self, what do you want them to know about the situation in October? You are exactly where you should be. All right, so you are exactly where you should be. The universe is saying there's nowhere else that you could be other than right where you are. So even if it looks like things are not working out, things are actually balancing out for you. Balancing for you to have peace of mind, balancing for you to emotionally feeling good, just simply feeling good, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about your finances that are coming in, um, feeling relieved, having a lot of energy. So you're coming out of a lot of just unwanted energy, letting it go, releasing it a little bit at a time, just a little bit, one thought here, one thought there. It doesn't have to come in one manner. It could be one thought at a time that you are actually receiving this communication. So judgment, it's, uh, it's basically what I'm getting is spirit is giving you an opportunity to choose a different path, to choose a different course, choose a different story, to fully align with a path that brings you financial stability, unconditional love, ease, peace, and mental relief where you don't have to worry. So let's see what your angels want you to know manifestation yeah guardian angel so you are being protected at this time and being very heavily guided so everything in your atmosphere is actually guiding you towards a manifestation of being able to manifest people who are compassionate um you may even desire to have a job where there is a lot of compassion involved where you can express yourself all right let's get another card because still we have the hermit. Yeah. So there's going to be some introspection also for you in October is what I'm sensing, but things are looking up. It's just requiring you to have a positive, optimistic mindset about what is to come instead of focusing on where you are or what happened, focusing on what is to come here. What else is coming and what can they expect for October? If they're here for car three, what can they expect? Five of air king of air look at all this mental energy logic lots of logic there's yeah so in the wheel we'll take it so the only card major arcana which is your spirituality all of the blue that you see here this dark blue is going to be everything that you're going through mentally in the month of october and you can see here an unwise choice learn what you can do from this situation it's like there's a need to just take a step back and understand that it is not for you to decide as much as you are deciding. It's like your spirit, your soul, your heart will decide. So the six of air, you are moving out of this energy and it says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional uh, considerations. So not being so much in your logic, but really honoring your emotions. Same thing as I said with card number one, honoring your emotions and how you feel. This is where your decision should be based on how you feel. Because this feeling of feeling good, excited, inspired is coming from your higher self. So with the king of air, very brilliant. This is my Steve, my Steve Jobs card. This is an inventor, very wise, uh, diplomatic, very professional, very logical. You could be an earth or air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you don't have to be. But what I'm sensing is this is not logic. So even with the judgment, it's time. It's time to make a decision and it's time to go in the right direction, even though every direction is right, the right, the true direction is going to be the path that aligns with what you truly, truly desire. And just so you guys know, what is that? What is it that they truly desire? Card three, beloved, you truly desire a life partner. You desire love. 
If you are here, you desire love. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So you are changing. You are shifting in your energy field. Understand that when you're happy and you're excited, if you, if you pass a house and people are happy or and excited and they're having a good time, you're more likely to want to go in there versus if they're sad, if they're complaining, if they're in a low frequency, this is never going to happen for me. You're probably not going to want to go in that door. And that's because our true nature is not, is not attracted to that energy at all. Not attracted to, to, um, just being in a frequency of just feeling bad, feeling bad about finances, feeling bad about certain things you have to walk away. I'm sensing you will be challenged in October to feel good no matter what is happening or changing. Because if it's always determined on what's in your reality, you're always going to be going through a roller coaster because your reality is always shifting. But to find some type of groundedness within yourself to feel good. And so what you're really after is love. And I'm hearing you first must love yourself, love your life. You being in love with yourself, you being in love with your life is only going to invite your lover in. Spirit is saying, I am preparing for a life partner. So I am preparing for your life partner judgment. You are meant to meet a life partner. If you are already in a relationship, this is confirmation that you do have a life partner that's getting prepared for you. So there will be a decision that you have to make for yourself. Spirit messages. Create a vision board. You are brave for being you. Your life is meant to be an exciting mystery. So I'm definitely sensing here that spirit is giving you the opportunity in the month of October to align with what is already destined with the wheel of fortune. You're already where you need to be. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So something that you may been, have been waiting to move forward is actually going to move forward, but it's because your energy is shifting. So I'm sensing that you are attracting a life partner. You are attracting a life partner, and I'm hearing you, your life partner is being prepared for you. So as you're going through this transformation, you are also meeting a life partner. So all of this to say that where you are may not be where you want to be, and it is temporary. And so whatever happens in the month of October, especially with the queen here, relationships develop a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Trust your intuition. So the, so we do have the queen of water. Your intuition is waking up. So you could have been drawn to card two. Your, your intuition is waking up. I see card two. Your intuition is already awakened. With card three, you are with the two, 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 two could be a big deal. One, 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 12, 12. This is about a new beginning and a new cycle that is actually going to propel. It's like once you choose this new path, it's, it's like you're now on the path of alignment towards a life partner and towards some type of stability also. So let's just see if there's anything else here with the five of earth because we have lack here. So mentally getting out of your head, finding peace. Spirit is saying find peace in the month of October, no matter what's going on. No, everything is aligned with your greatest good with the wheel of fortune here. Everything is aligned. You cannot outthink yourself. You cannot, you cannot smart your way into this decision. You cannot intellectually make this decision. Your logic cannot see in higher dimensions. Your intuition can. So honoring more of your intuitive ability is what I'm getting. We had emotions for card one, passions for card two. For you guys, it's your intuition and your intuitive ability that's actually going to be leading you. So everything that's happening is in October is to provoke you to connecting more with your psychic abilities. So because spirits like, hey, use this, use this. So which path will you choose? Queen of air. We have another air. So a lot of logic. The world, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So releasing your logic. When you are thinking, you are not yourself. You are thinking. <laughs> when you are thinking, you are not yourself. Okay? Thoughts 
are not who you are and you are not your thoughts. You've heard of this affirmation. So thoughts are not even who you are. So why do you pay so much attention to them? October, it's time for you to pay attention to the feeling, the intuitive nudge that you're getting, that you're sensing, and to trust it. You're very independent, you're very experienced, very brilliant, and you could be very realistic. But we have objective decision-making. Clear away all that no longer serves you and see the humor in a situation. So not taking things so seriously, like, oh, this is such a serious decision that I have to make in my life. I don't know what's going to happen if I don't. We have to get out of this energy here and into fulfillment, okay? We don't have very many optimistic cards other than your spiritual cards. Your judgment, your wheel of fortune, your queen of earth, or your queen of water, all of these are really good cards to get. But it seems like you may be overlooking a lot of these spiritual gifts. First of all, if you're alive, if you're alive, you're blessed. Like, it's so crazy taking things for granted. You're alive. So judgment is here too. So if you're alive, you're blessed. And not looking at what doesn't appear to be going right because that's not your path. But when you choose, when you align with the path that's for you, everything will be worked out for you versus having to figure it out and work it out. Every little detail, you have to make it happen. That is exhausting. And I see that you're letting go of this energy, letting go of control, more trust from the universe. You're being guided, but look at how much of this is in your mind and in your head. So what are your fairies want you to know? Yeah, you're transforming your mind music so music could be very important to you we even have music notes here listen carefully for there may be a message in music you hear music can lift your soul rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door raising your vibration and how you feel right if something happens and it doesn't feel good how can you feel better that is power Music is seeming to be a very important message for you when it comes to manifesting a higher vibration. What is the purpose of being in a higher vibration? So that you can attract what it is that you truly want, which is manifestation. You want to see certain things work out. I'm hearing that if they're not here yet, if they have not arrived, it is because they are being delivered through a different door. So your analytic is picking out these doors perfectly down to the T and it's not that it can't happen it's just you'll be waiting for some time because the universe can deliver it exactly that way but it's so limited and the universe wants you to have it now wants you to have it right now which is the present moment is why it is so important because you don't want to experience it just in the past or the future you want to experience it right now so yes there are some things you may have to walk away from emotions things that make you feel bad um, there are a, a career situation where you're realigning yourself with financial freedom, something that brings you fulfillment. In October, I'm sensing that there is a path and it, the path could easily look like this. Here are two options. Do what you love, do what you think you have to do. And that is usually the path where you say, okay, I'm going to do what I love. I'm going to get comfortable more with this path. And then eventually your path will just unfold. So if you guys were here Definitely check out level 11 down below if you guys want to be a part of that mentorship. There's only 44 people that could be a part of that small, small group mastery mentorship. So once it's closed, once it's sold out, you will no longer be able to have access. But if that's you, you can find that down below. Like the video, subscribe, catch me in the new videos. Um, and yeah, follow me on the Instagram. You guys can see the page down below. And let's just see what is it. What's the last message from from the universe for card three? What does the universe want card three to know for October? There is more for you to explore, okay? So there's more for you to explore, more for you to see, more for you to experience. This is what makes life living. This is what gives life that feeling. So if you guys are here, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. I'm out.